Hi guys, it's me again and I have a haul for you. Um, I got the different bits from a few different places. Um, the one place they will not let me film in, um, which is that old factory I told you about. It was a furniture factory that they turned into um, various businesses, but they do have like a walkthrough vintage and antique area with different booths. Um, so unfortunately I can't take you with me, but I can show you what I did get. Um, and then I got a few things from Mocha Moose Cafe that I wanted to share with you. So here we go, guys. Okay, um, I wanted to show you this piece because it's already sold, and I generally, um, I generally post stuff like this on Instagram, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you haven't got a chance to see it, um, but I took one of those old frames that I got from, um, what is it, Goodwill, that I got for a couple dollars, and then I used some, I'm sorry about the glare, antique paper from my parents and um, some other bits here it says we loved with a love that was more than love that's from an Edgar Allan Poe book and then we have a little taxidermy bird and um, it's just an assemblage I put together with a little lace heart and I just wanted to share it with you before it went out the door okay I got lots here guys <laughs> As you can tell by my table, I've been a busy little bee. Um, this guy right here is a little trinket dish, I should say, or an ashtray. It's cast iron, um, and it is a fly. And I think I paid around $20 for this, and he's in really good shape. These guys right here are salt and pepper shakers. They're in excellent condition. They're from Japan. And I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're beetles or ladybugs or what they are, but they're awesome. And I've always eyed these kind of salt and pepper shakers, but I've never been able to get them at a decent price. And I think these were under $10 for the set here. So I grabbed those for sure. And this gal, she's got a jingly hat. Um, but it's a little hand puppet. Kind of like a little jester, I guess. She's really, really cute. Little hand puppet. And I think she was around $20. And then <laughs> this guy right here. He's going in my collection. I don't know anything about him, but he's got a top hat, and that sold me. He's dressed dressed all up. He's got his cane on the side here. You know, he has paint wear and stuff, but isn't he adorable? And he's stamped Japan. That's all I know about him. I think I paid $8 for him, and I just thought he was too cute. So, I grabbed him, of course. I got him at, um, I think I got him at Mocha Moose. Along with this chick right here, uh, Shawnee Piggy, Piggy, Piglet. I don't know, I guess you could call it a creamer or pitcher or whatever, but um, it's awesome. Doesn't have any chips or cracks or anything, and I just love how it's got those gold accents on the pink. Isn't it cute? I paid $20 for her. Um... Oh, and I got these, which I thought this one right here was interesting just because it's just such a different shape. I've not seen one shaped like that before. And we ha is that hair or scratches? Oh, of course, it's cat hair. What else would it be? Okay, and I got a really good deal on these. I think I only paid like $5 for both of them, so I was like snagging those up quick 
this guy right here says brownie gold. Um, I think I paid 16 for possibly. It's got little little bits of some paint loss, but there's no chips or cracks or anything. And it is a bank right there. And <laughs> it just, I don't know, elf, pixie, whatever you want to call it, something like that. But I thought he was really neat. So I snagged him. I'm running out of room, guys. Let me move a few things. Okay. And we have this right here. Which is really neat. It's an old piece. Um, solid brass. Has the, uh, you know, the three unicorns. And then I found this piece, actually, separately from a different vendor and just put the two together. So it cost me under $30 to get the two pieces together. And I just thought it was really, really neat. And I was ecstatic because I wasn't going to buy the base. And then I run across the <laughs> run across this, this very heavy uh, glass globe. And it's like, whoop, there we go. That's the karma coming here. That's just telling me I have to buy it. I got these fossilized um, shark teeth in these little cases. And they were under $3 a piece. So I grabbed those. And this wonderful hand here ceramic hand and it's a big one um it's the size of actually maybe a little bit larger <laughs> than my hand um but it was fifteen dollars and that piece is already sold these two um along with the other ephemera i got this is a vintage valentine's that is um you know, St. Patty's Day related. So I thought that was cute and unusual. I grabbed that for a couple dollars. This guy right here um, was a couple dollars also, but what's neat about it is it opens up and it's double-sided and it's like, um, you know, it holds itself up. It's like a stand. So I thought that was cute. And of course, I always have to grab any kind of old pictures if I find them. And they were only a couple dollars a piece, and they're really, really cute. They're both good-looking kids. And then this right here, I think I paid 15 for, but it's from 1906. Um, and it is a Halloween adventure. It's a playbook from a, a play um, that they would have had. I don't know if it would have been in a school or, or what. Um, but I just thought it was interesting, and then it's actually, um, survived this long, <laughs> but, um, it doesn't have any pictures or anything, it just goes over the different scenes and stuff, um, but I just thought it was really neat, old piece of ephemera. This right here was a wonderful find, and I paid only a couple dollars for it, the Golden Magazine for Boys and Girls, and it is... Um, where does it say? April, and it's April 1966. And what's awesome about this is that it's doesn't it's never been used, and it's got the cutest um, pictures and stuff in it. And it, see, it even has a paper doll that you can cut out, and some more. There's a bunny that you can cut out. But it's all intact. It doesn't have any writing or scribbles or anything in it. And I just thought it was the most awesome piece. The only thing wrong with it is the back right here has got one little tear on it. And see, it's even got the calendar, <laughs> which I thought was really neat. Hang on, guys. Right here. For April of 1966. 
So I grabbed that because I just thought it was really neat. This guy right here is awesome. It's a deer skull. And I really got a good price on him. He's a four point and he's in excellent condition. He's really been cleaned nice and he was under $20. So I was ecstatic to find that. I also got this right here, which is, um, you know, a paperweight and it's got the pink jellyfish inside of it. Oh, gosh, I'm trying to think of how much I paid for that. I think around $10, maybe, for the jellyfish paperweight. And then I got this really pretty, it's kind of, I don't know, it's not coming off in the lighting really well, but it is, maybe if I move it out here, you'll be able to see the color better. No, it's still not coming off really well. But it's like a little pale pink. But it's just a... You know a hand and I got this one and this one here which I really like and it's holding a goblet and then there's a few others back here um, I like that and I got each of these for under ten dollars a piece which I was just ecstatic over that too um, this guy right here, this bunny vase, which doesn't, you know, it's completely intact, as well as all the roses and everything on these other pieces. I was just stunned. Now, there were a few pieces that I did leave behind, though, because they did have repairs, um, you know, on some of the flowers and stuff, but these are in great condition. Um, but the bunny is the only thing I think I recently thrifted that I found at Goodwill. So I walked out with one thing, which was this bunny vase, <laughs> which I thought was well worth it. It's cute. I think I paid like $3 for it. And, you know, of course, it's Easter time. And this is a nice, solid, really cute piece. And these ostrich feathers, I told you I had some that I was going to sell. And this is the batch. I'm going to sell them in a batch together. But aren't, isn't the colors? They're just gorgeous. Look at that navy blue. And that real pretty, like, hot pink that goes into this smoky pink color. And then there's the black. And those are all from a 1920s hat company. I guess they went out of business. So... And then, also, um, these I got at Mocha Moose, too. Let me pick them up. But it's, I'm selling them. <sighs> Let me blow the <sighs> cat hair out of everything. But there's two dishes here. Um, one big and one small. And they have all this gold trim around them. But they're, you know, like a clear glass. And they've got, you know, how they're... Um, you know, divoted in there so it'll hold something. So I guess you could put like, make it like a snack tray or something like that. But excellent pieces for St. Patrick's Day because, as you well know, um, trying to find anything that's not real cheesy that is St. Patrick's Day related is kind of hard. Um, so when I run across these, I grabbed them and I think I paid under $15 for both pieces together. So, I was thrilled with that. Now, I'm looking around, and I think I've shown you everything. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't think I'm missing anything. So, guys, um, I've got income taxes to do. I do have another video that I pre-recorded, um, so that one will be coming up. But you might not see me for a few <laughs> for a few days because I've got to sit down and go through all my paperwork and everything because it's all due here within like this next week. So <laughs> I'm just gonna have so much fun going over all the receipts and everything else. So. You may not hear from me for a few days, but 
We all have to do it. So, um, if you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do so. Um, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section. I like hearing from you guys. And um, also, follow me on Instagram. Um, that'll keep you up to date on everything. So, until next time, guys. See you later.